Hello everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. So as promised, this week we are going to learn some interesting techniques about the URL obfuscation. And some of these techniques we are also going to try on a different browser. Uh, so we can see how and when and how we can fish uh, users uh, using these techniques. So uh, first off, like if you see this first URL, right? HTTPSGoogle.com, this seems like a valid URL. And, and we are used to seeing this, uh, that's what I meant. Uh, the next one, uh, Google.com colon 443. This might be, yeah. If you are, uh, if you are in, in like you know, uh, you know really well World Wide Web, and maybe you are in the IT professional, then maybe you know about this one. Uh, the third one, uh, Google.com at the red, then hack.me or whatever website you want to link to. That's also well URL. This will actually will take you to hack.me because this part is called as a user info or authority. So let me show you this. So this is RFC 3986. And if you see here, syntax components, right? So generic URI syntax consists of hierarchical sequence of components referred to as scheme, authority, path, query, and fragment. So this one is scheme. So usually we have like, you know, SFTP, HTTP, HTTPS. This is authority and that is what probably like you know we are most concerned with because that's 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 the uh, domain or uri or authority which is going to be seen by the victim so that that's the main thing we want to hide or obfuscate uh, the path is actually the path of the file or location then you have the query part and then the fragment part so this is uh, how the typical uri is constructed now, if we say this one, uh, this one is the authority part, which is www.google.com at the red hack.me. Now, the first part of this, uh, like, you know, the authority is the user info. And what that user info means is you can actually supply. So, for example, if the some of the resources are protected, it actually requires username and password. So in this user info, you can actually supply username password at the rate mysite.com and then, then put whatever the path you want to access. So instead of providing your credentials separately, it will directly take you, auto authenticate you, and it will take you to this protected path. So now, uh, if you see this, you must be able to wondering, okay, what can we do with this? Because now if you imagine, Let's say you have a site which does not require authentication. What will happen there? In that case, simply this part will be completely ignored and it will just redirect you to this particular site. I have actually recently seen a hack where attacker has used this at the rate and this is the valid domain name. And, and here they put like, you know, uh, the malicious domain and it's actually, sorry, the other way around. Here's the actual domain and here's the malicious domain. And actually, if you send it to the user, the request will, will be bypassed because it's actually only checking if the user info part is containing the valid domain. However, this was um, malicious. So users were still re being redirected to this part. So that was a, that was a pretty cool hack. Maybe I saw a couple months ago. Now, if you if you were to see that if let's say website does not have authentication requirement then this part will be ignored so now we can construct our url such that if you if you look at this it will be like you know maybe you are going to google.com but actually you are not you are actually going to youtube.com and you are actually going to the cybersecurity tv web uh, channel so that's one way uh, like you know to play around with this uri this one uh, might also seem like you know very funny to you but this is actually will take you to the youtube.com so what are we using here this is simply a unicode so you can actually convert this into unicode put it here and then you can actually put whatever unicode you want right to make it more uh, look look funny or maybe look more more uh, authentic and then you can send it to the user uh, when the user will click on it they will actually be redirected to here now let's see some of these examples. I think that will be really uh, like, you know, uh, interesting because you would believe not all the browsers will redirect you very easily. Some of these browser, like, yeah, as you can see here, I'm trying to go to this same URL with the Unicode. It says, this is a confirmed. You are not, you are about to log into this YouTube with the username this and password this, but the website does not require authentication. 
this may be an attempt to trick you is youtube.com the site you want to visit so it will actually warn you so let let's see it live so let's try first on the Chrome browser so as you can see I have my URL as this but then at the rate it's youtube.com and if I hit enter we are actually going to the YouTube site which is our cybersecurity TV now let's try same thing on the Firefox so you can see Firefox is giving giving us the warning that do you still want to visit the site or not now this is my edge uh, Microsoft Edge so let's try same thing on edge and see if it gives us a warning or not maybe it's not yeah it's actually redirecting us to the cybersecurity TV and let's try the same thing in the IE browser so here we can see IE cannot interpret this and it's just gonna say Windows cannot find this path check the spelling and try again so we notice that it's working on Chrome which is most of uh, the people nowadays are using so it's easier for us to fish anyone using that particular browser now let's see the next technique now if you see this so I'm not actually uh, you would think at first glance this is the IP address of Google and maybe that's why we are redirected your answer is yes and no so this is the IP address but this is not our usual IP address so the technique we have seen so far it's kind of an old school right uh, probably you must have used it in many many times and that's kind of an old school techniques now as you might know all the URI first translated into the IP address before we can actually get the page or the resource from the from our ISP now ISP uh, what what they do is actually they fetch the resource from the server using the IP address and IP address is is like you know a dotted decimal now instead of dotted decimal what we can use, do is we can also convert into hexadecimal octal uh, we can also do like double word it's called D word which is kind of like you know 16 bit uh, translation of the IP address and then we can use that to actually use some of these uh, websites so let me show you real quick how is that done so I'm using this particular site called IP address converter and if you go here and say convert my IP address you can see here uh, this is the D word uh, so this is base of 16 uh, bit we can go here and we can say HTTPS and as you can see now we have been redirected to the google.com now same thing you can also do with octal so let's try this right so these are some of the easier ways to do it now what octal does it of course as you know it translate base to 8 right and and this this would work in any any browser uh, I think except I but it should it should might work in IE as well uh, in the newer newer version uh, the next one actually variant we can try is we can append or add as many zeros as we want and it will still work so let's see an example again so here instead of this I'm going to add three zeros here three actually you can add as many zeros as you want so here if we go so it will still re re redirect us to the google.com another thing to try the hexadecimal and hexadecimal uh, as you all know it's like you know converted to base 16 it's actually another form of like you know uh, how you can represent the google.com so let's copy our hexadecimal yes maybe I yeah okay and let's try to access uh, this should work on all the browsers and now you must be wondering okay what are we doing going to do next is adding bunch of zeros uh, because yeah this actually works as well so if you are if you are not well versed with uh, like you know IP addresses and everything uh, on the with the computers maybe you are as a victim you wouldn't know that this is actually an IP address which can trick you uh, to go to some malicious site right so that's what is happening so I, I think yeah that's that's pretty much uh, all like you know some new techniques I want to show you there's few more I'm going to explore in the next video as well uh, 
Uh, so stay tuned, hit the thumbs up button, let me know how you like my content and how, how do you like these techniques. If you know any other techniques, uh, feel free to comment down in the section below and I'll, I'll see you next Monday. Bye.